ka. Moving off and stopping the car is a common maneuver that has to be executed while driving. The objective of this lesson is to teach you the steps to move off and stop the car. This video will demonstrate how to synchronize the gear, foot brake, and accelerator to move off the car from a stationary position. The dry run. To control the foot brake, depress it fully using the ball of your right foot. Your heel should not rest on the floorboard. Use the knee movement to release the foot brake slowly. To control the accelerator, depress it lightly using the ball of your right foot. Your heel should rest on the floorboard. Use the ankle movement to release the accelerator slowly. Moving off the car. The first step is to ensure that the handbrake is applied and the gear lever is at P position. Place your right foot on the foot brake. Start the engine. Check your front, left and right to ensure that it is safe to move off. Signal right. Depress the foot brake completely and shift to D gear. Reconfirm safety to the right and check your right blind spot. Release the handbrake and then release the foot brake gradually to move off the car. To increase the speed further, depress the accelerator gently and gradually. When you have achieved the desired speed, maintain the position of the accelerator to maintain the speed or release it slowly to reduce the speed. Stopping the car. To stop the car, release the accelerator gradually. Next, shift the right foot to gradually apply the foot brake till the car stops. When the car has stopped, Keep the foot brake depressed, apply the handbrake and shift the gear to the P position. You can now bring your foot away from the foot brake. The steering wheel enables you to move the car in the desired direction of travel. The objective of this lesson is to teach you the method of turning the steering wheel. This video will demonstrate the pull and push method to turn the steering wheel. To have good control of the steering wheel, you must adopt the correct sitting posture. Thus, you should adjust your seat to a distance such that your arms are slightly bent when holding the steering wheel. You should also look far ahead. To hold the steering wheel, use the face of a clock as a reference for the position to place your hands. Firstly, you may either place your left hand at the 10 o'clock position and the right hand at the 2 o'clock position. Alternatively, you may either place your left hand at the 9 o'clock position and the right hand at the 3 o'clock position. When driving, hold the steering wheel lightly. To turn the car, a common method is the pull and push method. To turn the steering wheel to the right, use the right hand to pull the steering wheel down. At the same time, slide the left hand down. Secondly, use the left hand to push the steering wheel up. At the same time, slide the right hand up. Turn the steering wheel according to the curvature of the turn. To turn the steering wheel to the left, use the left hand to pull the steering wheel down. At the same time, slide the right hand down. Secondly, use the right hand to push the steering wheel up. At the same time, slide the left hand up. 
turn the steering wheel according to the curvature of the turn. When approaching a gradual bend, the first step is to reduce speed. At the bend, turn the steering wheel according to the curvature of the bend. Do not move your body as you are steering. Maintain your car in the center of the lane. As you are about to pass the bend, return steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Glance to the left and right as you turn. Do not fix your eye line. When approaching a sharp bend, the first step is to reduce speed. At the bend, several turns of the steering wheel may be required to enable turn according to the curvature of the bend. Do not move your body as you're steering. If you are negotiating a left bend, drive closer to the right of the lane. If you are negotiating a right bend, drive closer to the left of the lane. As you are about to pass the bend, return steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Glance to the left and right as you turn. Do not fix your eye line. The objective of this video is to teach you the correct method of braking the car. This video will demonstrate how to brake to either slow the car to a target speed or to stop the car at a targeted point at low speed. To slow down or stop the car, both the foot brake and engine brake should be used. Depress the foot brake early and firmly before reducing the pressure on the foot brake slightly till you reach the target speed or place stop. The engine brake is activated by releasing the accelerator. The amount of pressure to apply on the foot brake depends on the speed and the distance to stop or slow the car. You should apply more pressure on the foot brake if there is a shorter distance to slow or stop the car or if the difference between your speed and the target speed is greater. Before slowing down the car, check the rear view mirrors to ensure that it is safe to do so. Release the accelerator to use engine braking to slow down the car. Depress the foot brake to slow down the car to the target speed. To stop the car, look for a safe place to stop. Check the rear view mirror to ensure that it is safe to stop as you are nearing the target place to stop. Release the accelerator to use engine braking to slow down the car. Depress the foot brake to stop the car. You should depress the foot brake early and firmly before reducing the pressure on the brakes lightly till the car comes to a stop through the windscreen, rear view mirror and side mirrors. The objective of this video is to teach you about the blind spot of the cars and how to check the blind spot. This video will show the location of the blind spots and the correct method of checking the blind spot. A vehicle has two blind spots, the left blind spot and the right blind spot as indicated by the area highlighted. Thus, blind spots may result in danger for all as a driver will be unable to see other motorists and pedestrians. To check the left blind spot, turn your head and look over your left shoulder quickly to check for other motorists and pedestrians. To check the right blind spot, turn your head and look over your right shoulder this is especially before a driver overtakes, executes a turn, or changes lanes. In addition, a driver has to be aware of the blind spots of other vehicles to avoid driving in areas which cannot be seen by other drivers for a safer journey. Stopping and moving off from the curbside is a common maneuver 
that may be executed for various reasons, such as picking up or dropping off a passenger. The objective of this lesson is to enhance your ability to stop and move off from the curbside. This video will demonstrate the steps to stop and move off from the curbside. To stop at the curbside, identify a safe and legal spot. As you are approaching the intended place to stop, ensure that you are driving on the left lane. Check the rear view mirror to ensure that there are no cars following closely behind you. Signal left, reduce speed and check the left side mirror and left blind spot. Next, steer closer gradually to the curbside until there is a gap of about 0.5 meter between your car and the left curb. Stop the car at the intended spot. Apply the foot brake, followed by the handbrake, and engage the appropriate gear to stop the car. Switch on the hazard lights. To move off from the curbside, engage the appropriate gear to move off the car. Next, check your surroundings and the rear by checking the rear view mirror that it is safe to move off. Following that, signal right. Check the right side view mirror and check your right blind spot. Release the handbrake and increase your speed gradually to move off from the curbside. Once you have moved off, cancel the right signal and continue to drive normally. Driving through junctions is a frequent yet challenging occurrence as the driver has to observe for many things simultaneously. The objective of the video is to enhance your knowledge of how to pass through junctions safely. This video will demonstrate about traffic light and the priority at junctions. There are two types of junctions, namely control junctions and uncontrolled junctions. Control junctions are junctions where there are either traffic lights, traffic signs, or road markings. Uncontrolled junctions are junctions where there are no traffic lights or traffic signs or road markings. As you are approaching junctions controlled by traffic lights, you should always reduce your speed. If the traffic lights are green in your favor, you should reduce your speed in anticipation that the traffic lights may turn amber. If the traffic lights are red, you will need to bring the car to a stop. At control junctions, the priority of travel is determined by the traffic lights, traffic signs and road markings. You have priority to drive through the junction only if the above are in your favour. For example, if the traffic lights are green in your favour, you can drive through the junction ahead of those vehicles for whom the traffic lights are red. At uncontrolled junctions, the priority of travel is determined by the giveaway rules. You have priority to drive through the junction only if the above are in your favour. Under the giveaway rules, if you are going straight, you must give way to vehicles going straight from your left and right. If you are turning left, you must give way to vehicles going straight from your right. If you are turning right, you must give way to all vehicles that may come into your path of travel. While driving through junctions, you may encounter pedestrians at the pedestrian crossing. At the pedestrian crossing, pedestrians have the right of way. Be patient and give pedestrians more time to cross if needed. When making a 90 degree left turn, turn at low speed at all times. Depress the accelerator to increase your speed and depress the foot brake to reduce your speed.
The S course is a series of narrow bends. The objective of this lesson is to enhance your skills in synchronizing in low speed control, steering wheel control, and a good sense of judgment when maneuvering in a confined space. This video will demonstrate how to pass through the S course with the aid of the various sighting points by applying low speed control. As you approach the course, consult rear view mirror, signal intention, reduce speed, and change gears if necessary. When turning left into the course, position the car parallel to and about one meter away from the left curb or by sighting a quarter from the front left of the bonnet meets with the left curb. Drive forward slowly. When the left front door lock is in line with the left curb, check the left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left and turn into the course. When turning right into the course, position the car parallel about 0.5 meter away from the center line. Drive forward slowly till the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb. Ensure there is no oncoming traffic and check the right blind spot before turning into the course according to the curvature of the turn. When the car is inside the course and almost parallel to the left curb, return steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Drive forward slowly. Glance to the left and right of the course as you pass through the course. When you see that one third of the bonnet from the right meets with the left curb, turn according to the curvature of the course. Drive forward slowly. At the midpoint of the course, when the left tip of the bonnet meets with the left curb, return the steering wheel to straighten the car. Drive forward slowly. When you see that the center of the bonnet meets with the right curb, turn according to the curvature of the course slowly to exit the course. Before exiting, return the steering wheel to straighten the car. Stop before the giveaway line if necessary. Check the front, left, and right to ensure that it is safe to move out of the course. To turn left to exit the course, signal left and reconfirm safety to the right. When the left door lock has passed the left curb, check your left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. To turn right to exit the S course, signal right and reconfirm safety to the left. When the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb, check your right blind spot and turn according to the curvature of the turn. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. Form up in the correct lane and continue to drive normally. The crank course is a series of right angle turns. The objective of this lesson is to enhance your skills in synchronizing, in low speed control, steering wheel control, and a good sense of judgment when maneuvering in a confined space. This video will demonstrate how to pass through the crank course with the aid of the various sighting points by applying low speed control. As you approach the course, consult rear view mirror, signal intention, reduce speed, and change gears if necessary. When turning left into the course, position the car parallel to and about one meter away from the left curb or by sighting a quarter from the front left of the bonnet meets with the left curb. 
drive forward slowly. When the left front door lock is in line with the left curb, check the left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left and turn into the course. When turning right into the course, position car parallel to and about 0.5 meter away from the center line. Drive forward slowly till the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb. Ensure there is no oncoming traffic and check the right blind spot before turning into the course according to the curvature of the turn. When the car is inside the course and almost parallel to the left curb, return steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Drive forward slowly. Glance to the left and right of the course as you pass through the course. When making a right turn inside the course, the sighting point is where the right door lock is in line with the tip of the right curb. At this point, full lock steering wheel to the right. When the car is almost parallel to the right curb, return steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Drive forward slowly to the next turn. When making a left turn inside the course, the sighting point is where the left door lock is in line with the tip of the left curb. At this point, full lock steering wheel to the left. When the car is almost parallel to the left curb, return steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Drive forward slowly to the exit of the course. Stop before the giveaway line if necessary. Check the front, left and right to ensure that it is safe to move out of the course. To turn left to exit the course, signal left and reconfirm safety to the right. When the left door lock has passed the left curb, check your left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. To turn right to exit the course, signal right and reconfirm safety to the left. When the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb, check your right blind spot and turn according to the curvature of the turn. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. Form up in the correct lane and continue to drive normally. Familiarization. The slope course consists of an upward slope and a downward slope. The objective of this lesson is to enhance your ability to move off the car from the slope. This video will demonstrate to you the procedure of how to pass through the course with the aid of the various sighting points. As you approach the course, consult rear view mirror, signal intention and reduce speed. When turning left into the course, position the car parallel to and about one meter away from the left curb or by sighting a quarter from the front left of the bonnet meets with the left curb. Drive forward slowly. When the left front door lock is in line with the left curb, check the left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left and turn into the course. When turning right into the course, position the car parallel to and about 0.5 meter away from the center line. Drive forward slowly till the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb. Ensure there is no oncoming traffic and check the right blind spot before turning into the course according to the curvature of the turn. When the car is inside the course and almost parallel to the left curb, return steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Accelerate slightly more to drive up the slope slowly to the yellow line. Stop the car before you reach the yellow line. Apply the handbrake. Release the foot brake slowly 
to ensure that the car is stationary. Check your surroundings and the rear. Signal intention to move to the top of the slope. If you are on the left of the slope, signal right and vice versa. Accelerate slightly before releasing the handbrake. Accelerate a bit more to move to the top of the slope. When the car is at the top of the slope, release the accelerator fully. Depress the foot brake gently to enable the car to move down the slope slowly to the white line. Stop the car before the white line. Check the front, left and right to ensure that it is safe to move out of the course. To turn left to exit the course, signal left and reconfirm safety to the right. When the front door lock has passed the left curb, check your left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. To turn right to exit the course, signal right and reconfirm safety to the left. When the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb, check your right blind spot and turn according to the curvature of the turn. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. Form up in the correct lane and continue to drive normally. Signals and road markings serve to regulate the traffic flow, warn of hazards and provide information. Failure to comply with these regulations constitute an offence and causes danger. The objective of this lesson is to enhance your knowledge of these regulations. This video will emphasize on being compliant to traffic signs, traffic signals, yellow box junctions, and pedestrian crossing rules. Traffic lights and traffic signs. There are two types of junctions, control junctions and uncontrolled junctions. When driving past control junctions, you must drive in compliance to the traffic signs, traffic signals and road markings. As you approach the traffic lights, always slow down in anticipation of traffic light changes. You must stop if the traffic lights are red and may proceed only if the traffic lights are green in your favour. Passing through intersections Uncontrolled junctions are junctions without traffic lights, traffic signs or road markings. Drivers must comply with the giveaway rules when driving through these junctions. Also, traffic on the major road has right-of-way over traffic on the minor road. Yellow boxes. Stopping in a yellow box may obstruct other road users. It is an offence for drivers going straight to stop in the yellow box. However, drivers who are turning may stop if the driver is giving way to pedestrians or oncoming vehicles. Pedestrian crossing. Pedestrians have the right of way at all pedestrian crossings. When nearing a pedestrian crossing, always slow down and get ready to stop to give way to pedestrians. Even when a driver has the right of way, he or she should be patient and allow pedestrians more time to cross the road completely before driving off. Do not stop on the pedestrian crossing as it will obstruct pedestrians. Also, do not overtake at pedestrian crossings. Left turns. At some traffic light control junctions, you are allowed to make a left turn even when the traffic lights are red. For example, there are some traffic lights with left turning green arrows. At these junctions, you may turn left 
if the arrow is green in your favor. You may also turn left when the traffic lights are red at the left turn on red junctions. At these junctions, before turning left, you must stop before the stop line. Also, the driver must look out for and give way to pedestrians crossing the road and vehicles from the right. As you approach the filter lanes, slow down to look out for and be ready to give way to pedestrians who may be crossing the road at the pedestrian crossing. Drive past the pedestrian crossing slowly to the give way signs and parallel broken white lines which are commonly found at the exit. As you approach, look out for vehicles from the right. You need not stop if there are no vehicles from the right. Check the left blind spot before turning left. As roads are shared spaces, rules and regulations and the code of conduct are in place to facilitate a smooth and safe journey. The objective of this lesson is to enhance your knowledge about traffic rules and regulations and the code of conduct. This video will demonstrate how to observe lane discipline, regulate speed, maintain a safe following distance and stopping distance. Lane discipline. One of the key rules and regulations which drivers must observe is lane discipline. You can only drive in the direction that is shown by the lane marking on the individual lane. Thus, you must form up in the correct lane well in advance before you get to a junction. While driving on a two-lane carriageway, you should always drive in the left lane unless you are overtaking, making a right turn, U-turn, or if the left lane is obstructed. If you are driving on a road with three lanes, you may drive in the center lane if there are slow moving vehicles on the left lane. The right lane is for overtaking and emergency vehicles only. Drive within your lane and do not straddle lanes. Avoid changing lanes unnecessarily such as when you are in a traffic jam. Regulating speed. While driving, you should regulate your speed according to the traffic conditions. Do not exceed the lower of the speed limit of the road or the vehicle. If you are driving a manual car, you should change the gear according to the speed you are traveling at. If you are driving an auto car, you should coordinate the accelerator and brake to enable you to drive at an appropriate speed for the traffic conditions. Safe following distance. Tailgating is when a driver drives too closely behind another car. It is dangerous to tailgate as you may not have enough time to react if the car in front brakes suddenly. You should maintain a safe following distance at all times by applying the two-second rule in dry weather. To do so, after the vehicle in front has passed a stationary object, start counting 1001, 1002 to yourself. If you pass the stationary object before you finish counting, you should slow down as you are too close to the vehicle in front. If you are driving in wet weather, there should be a gap of 4 seconds between you and the vehicle in front. Safe Stopping Distance To stop at a safe stopping distance, you must stop such that you are able to see the entire rear wheel of the vehicle in front of you. 
A lane change is a challenging yet common maneuver executed to switch to driving on the next lane. The objective of the video is to enhance your ability to change lanes. This video will demonstrate the steps to change to the right lane. Before changing lanes, check the traffic conditions ahead, the rear view mirror and the right side mirror to ensure that it is safe to do so. As you check the right side mirror, look at the size of the vehicle. The larger the vehicle, the nearer the car is from you. Also, the faster the car's size enlarges, the faster the speed of the car. When the car is far and is not enlarging, it is safe to change lanes. Signal intention to the right for at least 3 seconds. When it is safe to change lanes, check your right blind spot. Adjust your speed accordingly to merge into the right lane and look ahead. You may either speed up or slow down to enable you to merge into the next lane. Merge into the next lane gradually. Next, once you have merged into the next lane, cancel your signal. This is to avoid confusing other road users as you have completed the lane change and resume normal driving. The steps to change to the left lane is the same as the above except that you should signal left and check the side mirror and blind spots on the left. A right turn is a frequent yet challenging maneuver as you may have to look out for oncoming vehicles, pedestrians and other road users coming from different directions at the same time. The objective is to enhance your ability to make a right turn. This video will demonstrate the correct way of making a right turn. To make a right turn, form up in the correct lane in advance, usually to the extreme right lane. Check the rear view mirror. Signal right. Reduce speed as you drive to the turning point. The turning point is where the center of the front right door meets with the lane in front of the lane you are turning into. As you reach the turning point, analyze the traffic situation ahead. Comply with all traffic signals, traffic signs and the giveaway rules. Stop to give way to oncoming traffic, pedestrians and other road users if necessary without encroaching into their lane. When it is safe to turn, check the right blind spot and turn according to the curvature of the road into the corresponding lane, usually the rightmost lane on the road you are turning into. When you have completed the turn, change lanes to the left lane as soon as it is safe to do so. A U-turn is a 180 degree turn which is executed to reverse the direction of travel. The objective is to enhance your ability to execute a U-turn. This video will demonstrate the steps in executing a U-turn. You can U-turn only after the U-turn sign. To U-turn, form up in the extreme right lane. Check the rear view mirror. Signal right. Reduce speed as you drive to the turning point. The turning point is where the center of the front right door passes the tip of the divider. At U-turns with a narrow divider, full lock steering wheel at the turning point. Stop to give way to oncoming traffic if necessary without encroaching into the lane. 
When it is safe, check the right blind spot. If you are U turning into a two lane carriageway, turn to the left lane. If you are turning into a three lane carriageway, turn to the center lane. At U turns, with a wide divider, turn the car according to the curvature of the divider. Stop to give way to oncoming traffic if necessary without encroaching into the lane. When it is safe, check the right blind spot and turn into the lane nearest to the divider. When the car is almost straightened, return the steering wheel to straighten the car. Change back to the left lane as soon as it is safe to do so. Vehicle pre-operative checks refers to items that a driver should check for before driving. The objective is to enhance your knowledge of what you should check your vehicle for to enhance the safety and efficiency of the journey. This video will explain to you the fundamentals of the vehicular pre-operative checks. It is important to carry out pre-drive checks as it enhances the safety of the journey by enabling issues to be identified before starting on the journey. This is because good driving skills alone may be unable to overcome mechanical faults which may cause the driver to lose control of the car. Besides, it is important to carry out pre-drive checks as it helps to reduce the cost of driving a car. This is because properly functioning equipment can help to save costs. For example, properly inflated tires can lower fuel consumption and early detection of faults mean that they can be fixed early at a relatively less cost. Thus, pre-drive checks should be carried out before each drive. A driver should also carry out pre-drive checks when the car has such been taken over such as when renting or borrowing a car to ensure that the car is in good condition and functioning properly. To ensure that the pre-drive checks is carried out in a comprehensive manner, one way is to start from the exterior of the vehicle. Walk around the exterior in a clockwise direction starting from the car bonnet and checking the various parts of the car. After doing so, the driver should check the interior of the car. Reversing is the process of driving a car backwards. It can be challenging for drivers as it is more difficult to see the back of the car. The objective of this video is to teach you the steps to reverse the car. This video will demonstrate the steps to reverse the car straight and to the left and right. Before reversing, the first step is to check your surroundings and the rear view mirror to ensure that it is safe to reverse. Also, turn your head to look through the rear windscreen. Next, depress the foot brake fully and shift the gear lever to the reverse gear. Release the handbrake and foot brake to ensure the car to reverse slowly. Maintain the steering wheel at the straight position. Check your surroundings and the rear as you reverse. Control the speed by applying or releasing the foot brake. To stop the car, apply the foot brake till the car comes to a stop. To reverse the car to the left or right, repeat the above steps. However, instead of maintaining the steering wheel at the straight position, you should turn the steering wheel in the direction you wish to reverse to. To reverse to the left, turn the steering wheel to the left. As you do so, the front of the car will swing outwards.
To reverse to the right, turn the steering wheel to the right. As you do so, the front of the car will swing outwards. As such, always check your surroundings to ensure safety before and while reversing. To stop the car, apply the foot brake till the car comes to a stop. The directional change course is a course that is designed to enhance your ability to change the direction of travel in confined spaces. The objective of this lesson is to enhance your skills in synchronizing low speed control, steering wheel control and good judgment of car turning radius while reversing. This video will demonstrate how to pass through the directional change course with the aid of the various sighting points by applying low speed control while reversing. As you approach the course, consult rear view mirror. Signal intention, reduce speed and change gears if necessary. When turning left into the course, position the car parallel to and about one meter away from the left curb or by sighting a quarter from the front left of the bonnet meets with the left curb. Drive forward slowly. When the left front door lock is in line with the left curb, check the left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left and turn into the course. When turning right into the course, position car parallel to and about 0.5 meter away from the center line. Drive forward slowly till the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb. Ensure there is no oncoming traffic and check the right blind spot before turning into the course according to the curvature of the turn. When the car is inside the course and almost parallel to the left curb, return the steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Drive forward slowly to the front curb. Stop the car near to the front curb. Check your surroundings and the rear to ensure that it is safe to reverse. Signal intention to the right and reverse the car slowly towards the lot. As you reverse, constantly check to ensure safety. When you look over your right shoulder and see that the center of the rear right door meets with the front right tip of the lot, pull lock steering wheel to the right to enable the car to reverse into the lot. As the car will swing slightly to the left, Check your surroundings, in particular the left, to ensure safety. When the car is almost parallel with the right curb, return the steering wheel to straighten the car. Continue to reverse the car to the rear curb. When the bottom of the right side view mirror covers the front curb, your car is in the lot. Stop the car. Check the front left and right to ensure that it is safe to move out of the lot. Signal left. Drive forward slowly to exit the lot. When the left door lock is in line with the left curb, full lock steering wheel to the left. When the car is in the lane, return the steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Drive forward slowly to the exit of the course. Stop at the exit if necessary. Check the front, left and right to ensure that it is safe to move out of the course. To turn left to exit the course, signal left and reconfirm safety to the right. When the left door lock has passed the left curb, check your left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. 
to turn right to exit the course, signal right and reconfirm safety to the left. When the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb, check your right blind spot and turn according to the curvature of the turn. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. Form up in the correct lane and continue to drive normally. The reverse parking course is a course modelled after an actual reverse parking lot. The objective of this lesson is to teach you how to reverse park the car. This video will demonstrate how to pass through the reverse parking course with the aid of the various sighting points by applying low speed control in the reverse motion. As you approach the course, consult rear view mirror, signal intention, reduce speed and change gear if necessary. Position your car about 1.5 meters away from the left curb. At this distance, the left end tip of the bonnet will meet with the left curb. Stop the car slightly ahead of the lot. Check your surroundings and the rear to ensure that it is safe to reverse. As you reverse, constantly check to ensure safety. Signal intention to the left and reverse the car slowly towards the lot. When you look over your left shoulder and see that the vertical bar of the rear left door meets with the tip of the rear right curb, full lock steering wheel to the left. As the car will swing outwards to the right, check your surroundings, in particular the right, to ensure safety. Continue to reverse into the lot. When you look at the right side view mirror and see that the car is almost parallel to the lot, return steering wheel to straighten the front wheel. Continue to reverse into the lot. When the bottom of the right side view mirror covers the front curb, your car is now in the lot. Ensure that your rear wheel does not hit the rear curb or the stopper. Stop the car. Apply the handbrake. If you are driving a manual car, shift the gear lever to the neutral position. If you are driving an auto car, shift the gear lever to the park gear. To exit the lot, check the front, left and right to ensure that it is safe to move out of the course. To turn left to exit the lot, signal left and reconfirm safety to the right. When the center of the front left door has passed the left curb, check your left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. To turn right to exit the lot, signal right and reconfirm safety to the left. When the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb, check your right blind spot and turn according to the curvature of the turn. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. Form up in the correct lane and continue to drive and the rear to ensure safety as the car will swing slightly to the right. Continue to reverse into the lot. When you look at the right side view mirror and see that the right side of the car is diagonally in line with the center of the rear curb, return the steering wheel to straighten the car. Continue to reverse into the lot. When you look at the right side view mirror and see that the rear right wheel touches the yellow line, pull lock steering wheel to the right. Continue to reverse into the lot. When you look at the right side view mirror and see that the car is nearing the rear curb, return the steering wheel to straighten the car. Stop the car 
before the rear wheels touch the rear curb. Following this, inch forward to shift the car to the left or right such that it is positioned in the center of the lot and parallel to the left curb. Stop the car. Apply the handbrake. If you are driving a manual car, shift the gear lever to the neutral position. If you are driving an auto car, shift the gear lever to the park gear. To exit the lot, reverse the car slowly and stop the car before the rear wheels touch the rear curb. Check the front, left and right to ensure that it is safe to move out of the course. Before exiting the lot, signal intention to the right and check the right blind spot. Drive forward slightly. Full lock steering wheel to the right and accelerate slightly to merge into the lane. Form up in the correct lane and continue to drive normally. The reaction response course is a course designed to enhance your ability to manage accidental or unexpected forward and backward surging of the car. The objective of this lesson is to enhance your ability to respond should your car surge unexpectedly. This video will demonstrate how to pass through the reaction response course with the aid of the various sighting points. As you approach the course, consult rear view mirror, signal intention, reduce speed, and change gears if necessary. When turning left into the course, position the car parallel to and about one meter away from the left curb or by sighting a quarter from the front left of the bonnet meets with the left curb. Drive forward slowly. When the left front door lock is in line with the left curb, check the left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left and turn into the course. When turning right into the course, position the car parallel to and about 0.5 meter away from the center line. Drive forward slowly till the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb. Ensure there is no oncoming traffic and check the right blind spot before turning into the course according to the curvature of the turn. When the car is inside the course and almost parallel to the left curb, return steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Drive forward slowly to the ramp ahead. Immediately after the front wheel touches the ramp, stop the car. Next, accelerate to mount the ramp. Immediately after the car mounts the ramp, stop the car. The car must not hit the pole. At this point, reverse slowly to descend from the ramp. Once the car has descended from the ramp and is on the lot, stop the car. Check your surroundings and the rear to ensure that it is safe to reverse. Signal intention to the right and reverse the car slowly towards the lot. As you reverse, constantly check to ensure safety. When you look over your right shoulder and see that the center of the right rear door meets with the front right tip of the lot, full lock steering wheel to the right. As the car will swing outwards to the left, check your surroundings, in particular the left, to ensure safety. When the car is almost parallel to the right curb, return the steering wheel to straighten the car. Continue to reverse slowly to the ramp behind. Look at the right side view mirror for the ramp behind the car. Stop the car immediately after the rear wheel touches the ramp. Next, accelerate to reverse the car up the ramp. 
Immediately after the car mounts the ramp, stop the car. The car must not hit the pole. At this point, drive forward slowly to descend from the ramp. Once the car has descended from the ramp, stop the car. Check the front, left and right to ensure that it is safe to move out of the lot. Signal left. Drive forward slowly to exit the lot. When the left door lock is in line with the left curb, full lock steering wheel to the left. When the car is in the lane, return the steering wheel to straighten the front wheels. Drive forward slowly to the exit of the course. Stop at the exit if necessary. Check the front, left and right to ensure that it is safe to move out of the course. To turn left to exit the course, signal left and reconfirm safety to the right. When the left door lock has passed the left curb, check your left blind spot and full lock steering wheel to the left. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. To turn right to exit the course, signal right and reconfirm safety to the left. When the tip of the bonnet is in line with the right curb, check your right blind spot and turn according to the curvature of the turn. Accelerate slightly to leave the course. Form up in the correct lane and continue to drive normally.